Alright, what's up guys? We are back for some more Luigi's Mansion. Um, two things I want you to notice real quick though. If you look down in the lower right hand corner, my money has changed significantly from the last time. That's because I went back and I did get the blue ghost and I conserved a lot more money this time. And I started searching around and I got a lot more. And I still missed a ghost, but I'm going to go back and get that at a later point in the game where you can and don't worry if you miss one of the blue ghosts you can always go back and get it later in the game as long as you did not startle it already if you startle it and it disappears then it's gone forever so yeah so I restarted it without saving and I managed to catch the ghost so I have a lot more money now and I searched around and I got some stuff so So I did search around and I found some stuff and I just and uh, now we're gonna do the boss part. So here we go, it's right here in this room. Let's do this. Okay, let me put the key in. Let's turn it. And let's open that door. Oh my gosh, Spence is building it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. A nursery? The big scary boss is a nursery. Well, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna search around, just make sure there isn't any treasure. Um, just real quick. And that money is placed there specifically for a reason. Um, and if you look there, there's the ghost baby. And must find... Come on, there has to be some money here somewhere. This is a little ball that you can pick up, which uh, shows some mechanics that you're going to have to do in the boss fight. You can suck up a ball, and then when you let it go, it'll shoot it. So there's something that you uh, probably want to take a note of. Okay, so now, if we use our Game Boy Horror on, I believe the baby's name is Chauncey. Horsey. Rocky. Horsey. Well, obviously, it means the rocking horse. So... Uh, we'll just get it, cause I can't get the I can't get the scary ghost in this room. Anyway, so now he's gonna go play on the rocking horse. Oh, isn't he cute? Hey, you wanna play with me? Well, sure I do. Uh, oh my! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, no! This isn't a nice game. Okay, um, he's gonna be shooting these things at you. These, these little teddy bears, all you gotta do is pick this ball up and shoot it at him. No, this is not the, um, this is not the scary boss fight yet. So, uh, if you think that you're getting off easy, you're not. So you just gotta hit him straight in the head with that ball, and oh god, he's mad. Ow, you gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Who do you think you are? What, or why do you think you have to be bigger than me? Huh? I've had enough. Small. Now grow smaller. Small. Hey, tiny little wee. Goo goo ga ga ga. And now. This is the real boss fight. Mm hmm. Chauncey shinks us and throws us straight on his bed. Oh, God, that sounds like rape. And then there's Luigi's scared animation because. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're getting hit by rocking horses. <laughs> He's huge. Oh my gosh. Never did you think you'd be afraid of a baby. Yeah, and that's his scary, screechy voice. Like, face. It's freaky. Okay, no, this is a fairly simple fight. Basically, uh, just back, get as far away from you can from him. And he's gonna throw these rocking horses at you. Just dodge him. And they're actually really self-explanatory. They're not hard at all. Just dodge them. Okay, now he's going to throw these balls at you. Just dodge them. And then one of them is going to bounce back. Pick it up. With your... And then just shoot it at him. And then that's going to scare him. And then you're just going to start sucking him up. Yeah, and he's actually uh, pretty resilient for a little baby, so... And I'm not sure that the uh, that the boss just dropped pearls. Now he's gonna do this belly flop thing, which is actually really easy to dodge because he just goes around the perimeter of the crib. 
And I don't, I'm not really sure that these things drop pearls, and if they do, can somebody tell me? So, let's just dodge him. Nothing on me. Uh, uh, oh, shaky booty. Sh uh, oh, what you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> oh, now you gonna throw your balls at me, huh? Huh? You gonna curve? Okay. Wow, game, that was a little cheap. Not the coin. Okay, and, uh, alright. Just hit him straight in the face with that. And just, yeah. Don't worry if you feel, um, like you're not getting a lot of damage on him. He's, he's really, um, just pretty resilient, so don't worry about it if you're not racking too much damage up on this guy really quickly. More or less, this is just a kind of, um, uh, just kind of stall him out kind of thing. Which you can do pretty easily, so. And some of the later boss fights, um, like area bosses, because technically all the Portuguese ghosts are considered bosses, but this is an area boss because the area will end and we'll get a new key and stuff here. Which you'll see after I beat this guy. But, yeah, okay. To the face. And, alright, let's shove this baby in our vacuum. That's, that sounds like stealing child molestation. I don't know. Luigi, why do you gotta be so mean? Uh, and this, this battle is really repetitive. But then again, this whole game is pretty repetitive, so... I mean, it's still a great game by far, though. And once again, dodge the rocking horse. Oh, and if you die, like, and if... For some reason you decided that you like you didn't want to watch the boss fight and then you decided that you needed to because you didn't really understand what to do. Uh, there's been a lot of times, especially where I've played this game, where I've needed to figure out what to do in the boss fight and then I've died and then I've needed to just kind of redo it with full health. And uh, don't don't feel bad if that happens to you. Okay, we got the ghost. Yeah, yo, sa. I don't even know what that means, but. It's something I heard in, like, Street Fighter. <laughs> okay, so now let's open this giant treasure chest, and out pops a key. But this is a different key. It's a special key. So now, Professor Eats Gad's gonna call us on our Game Boy Horror. <laughs> Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was so worried. <laughs> You seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come back to the lab? When you vacuum up a boss, goes your poltergeist, he's tired and gets pretty much full to bursting. But oh ho ho, I guess you showed that boss who's boss. Yeah, we did. Yeah, Luigi. Okay, now we get to see one of the cool things in the game, actually. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. Uh, uh, this fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portificationizer. This machine lets us turn ghosts back into paintings. Not only that, it can do it in reverse, too. Hmm, how do we use it, you ask? Well, that's simple. Just plug that Portergeist 3000 into that and enjoy the ride, my boy. My boy. Right. And this is a cool cutscene. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms and turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. And you get one for every ghost, for every um uh, portrait ghost you suck up. So I've already done bios for those, so you know which ones are portrait ghosts. Hmm. Oh, we managed to turn these ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Yo, sa. And then we get a rack up of how much money we got and everything. So, here we got Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey, the baby. Mother, father, baby, if you didn't get that. We've got a total of three ghosts. I believe there's 23 in the game, so. This is all the money and stuff I earned, so if you can do better, then good for you. But I'm pretty sure I earned just about as much as you physically can this early in the game, so. Uh, pretty good. 
Alright, so we're gonna save. So now we're in area two. So, ten minutes. This seems like a really good place to end this off. So, hope you enjoyed today's earlier video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the bios I put in. And I hope you will go check out the Triforce Shards, which I will be uploading on tomorrow. And so, um, yeah. So I see you guys.